Uh, keep going, keep going, joke man. The next comic coming up the stage is the guy who brought us all here. He was the first host the first couple times he's allowed me to host. Please put your hands together for the very funny Pete Nelson. for our hosts and everyone who's going to be on tonight. Hey, how we doing, guys? Wow, someone just wrapped the cord all the way around this microphone, Sam. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah, Mario's Marina Bar, Shelter Cove. How are you guys enjoying the set so far tonight? This is fun. It's like we got all the ocean all around us and stuff. It's crazy. I think it's like really crazy how close we are to the ocean, though. This is like as close as I've ever been to the ocean for a comedy set. Like literally, if you don't like my set, you can like gang up on me and throw me over the edge, end me ever doing comedy ever again in two seconds, you know? Like if I start bombing, that's on me, right? This is fun. I like performing here. This is a great stage. They just made this stage very recently. This is like built this summer. It's too cool. Huh? Tell great jokes? I can't fucking hear you, dude. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. That's a great instruction. I'll base the rest of my set off of... Are you eating well? No, I love this stage because uh, of just like the stairs, you know? Does someone have a bomb out there? I hear a bomb about to go off. Everyone duck under the tables. It's a very, like, drawn out, it's like a 90s movie bomb. It takes, like, three and a half minutes. I like these stairs, because uh, my knees have been killing me ever since I had ACL surgery. Anyone have ACL surgery? Uh, those who don't know what it stands for, it stands for adjusted cock length. Yeah. Now, after that surgery, carrying that thing around all day, man, my knees are killing me, you know? Ever since my ACL surgery. How are we doing? This chick took one look at it, she's like, Peter, I want to make a mold of your penis. I was like, why? It's covered in mold already, you know? Hey. Yeah. This is, the ocean stuff is really cool. Who's going swimming after this? I really want to go swimming. Who's first? Who's, who, <laughs> who's on first? Let's throw someone in the water. I'm really just interested in that. I think it's too easy to do for us to ignore. Who is the least popular person in the room right now? Can we throw them over the edge? There we are, please come step up. The stairs are very easy to climb if you haven't had ACL surgery, so that's important. Um, I love, uh, oh, I love aliens. The aliens are cool. Anyone into aliens? Yeah. Yeah, I like the paranormal. I'm kind of more interested though, like if we're gonna have aliens on this planet, I just hope I wanna meet some like female aliens, you know? That'd be cool. I'm already a deadbeat on planet Earth. Why can't I be a deadbeat in outer space, you know? Honey, it's so hard to find a job being a human in outer space, you know? Can I borrow the spaceship again today, you know? I need to borrow some space dollars, you know? Or what, would they have Starbucks? I'm not sure. Space. Uh, <laughs> do they have? Space Uber. Space Uber, yeah. Can you do cocaine in a spaceship? I'm sure they have a safety thing for that. So it's like, yeah, of course I'm coked out of my mind. I'm in a really nice UFO. This thing just drives for me, you know? That'd be fun. That's kind of really bad if you had the access to be able to show up wherever the hell you want coked out of your mind. Any coke idea you could show up to immediately with Space Uber. This was in my set before we talked about this. I have, this is my entire set is Cocaine Space Uber. You guys ready for it? Here we go. Um, the, I love that we can see stars in the sky over here because you're not going to see any on the stage tonight. That's for sure. You know, it's just us. It was a free show, guys. It's a free comedy show. It is $40 if you want to leave, so please put it in the jar. Um, are you going to Planet Fitness, or as some of you might call it, the shower? <laughs> Ladies, never date a guy who goes to Planet Fitness, because that means not only does he have a small dick, but he's also poor. Yeah. I love doing squats. That's interesting. You have to have good form or else you'll fuck up your back. Here's how to have good form doing a squat. Basically, drop your butt down as much as you can, 
until you, you, you look like you've shit yourself with your facial expression. You just want to put it as far down. It's very uncomfortable. Um, and then that's how you know you've done a squat, basically. Uh, and sometimes you actually do shit yourself, so the face is appropriate at the time. Uh, that's, I think that's the worst named uh, uh, exercise is a squat, you know? Who wants to do squats after this? I, you know, I fucking hell. I should do scripted material, shouldn't I, right? Um, my name's Pete. Uh, something you can know about me is that I'm not a fan of reincarnation. Yeah. Because yeah. who would ever want to repeat themselves, you know? The guy in the back didn't laugh at that one, so I'll just do it again for him. My name's Pete. I'm not a fan of reincarnation. You know why, guy in the back? Because who likes to repeat themselves? All right, he didn't laugh at that one that time either. I'll do it again. My name's Pete. I'm not a fan of reincarnation. You guys know why? Why? Because who wants to repeat themselves? <laughs> All right, you're not cheering hard enough yet, so I'll do it again. My name's Pete. I'm not a fan of reincarnation. You guys know why? Because who? Okay. Um, <laughs> ladies love it when they do that joke. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I go to Planet Fitness. That's fun. I love, uh, I actually knew this, this couple. They used to exercise every day, except for the day they broke up. That was one day they didn't work out, you know? <laughs> CrossFit? You guys, anyone do CrossFit? What is that, a Christian workout regimen? I tell you what, what did, did Jesus die of cross-contamination? Is it just me? I mean, you try putting hand sanitizer on while they're nailed up like that. It's really difficult. Oh. Hey. My evil twin is really good at parking because he's from a parallel dimension. I blew a stop sign at a street corner only to find out it was just some dude in a stop sign costume. <laughs> I got a blowjob from a psychic prostitute. She blew my mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She could have been that psychic though. I brought no money with me, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys, uh, I'm a comedian, so I don't make money. Please, for the love of God, fill that jar with your entire retirement, please. I don't have one. I have, I don't know. You guys do 23 and me? I did three of them. And so then they were like, hey, stop 69 and me and us. <laughs> I said that joke wrong if you can't tell. I just kind of blurted it out, you know, it's fine. What's, am I doing good yet? I'm fine, that's fine. I got a fine for getting uh, pulled over with a joint on me, and I thought it was fine because it's four hundred and twenty dollars. They were like, "This is a four hundred twenty dollar fine." I'm like, "That is fine. That's hilarious, you know." I'm from like New Hampshire. That's weird. I don't even know what Old Hampshire is like. And I'm from like New Hampshire. What's that? You can't have a new Florida though, right? They're kind of, they're still really upset with the original Florida. You're not going to see New Florida pop up anytime soon, if you ask me. I'm from New Hampshire. That's kind of a fucked up state, too, because their state motto is uh, live free or die. Yeah. Live free or die. Uh, if you don't do what we say, we'll kill you. I'm pretty sure is what that translates to. They taught it to me as a second grader. Second grade in New Hampshire is weird. I used to wrestle, but they make you actually wrestle. It's not like second grade wrestling. Everything else... If you had to learn how to drive as a second grader, they put you in like a simulator, you know? But all of a sudden with wrestling, it's like you're on your own, kid, kick his ass, you know? That's way more dangerous than a car, actually. You got airbags in a car. When you're wrestling as a second grader, you got 300 alcoholic parents screaming and throwing peanuts at the fucking ring. It's like a weird circus, you know? If you, if you think it sounds really crazy, let me just inform you, it's 99% white people per capita in New Hampshire. So it's what you, what happens when you don't have balance to shit. New Hampshire. Um, in New Hampshire was weird. We had cops that would, uh, we had fish and game. You know, we had freshwater, protected lakes and shit. So you couldn't have an outboard motor. You had to paddle everywhere, right? So you get pulled over by fish and game. They have to paddle after you. They're like, pull the canoe over. 
if you got a good strong arm, you could out you could out out paddle the cops, you know? They're fucked, man. They gotta fall on the same loss. I thought it was weird. I got a ticket from this chick. I thought she was pretty hot. I was like, hey, now that you just cost me so much money, um, can I hit on a lady in uniform? And she's like, kind of kind of into it, kind of not. I'm just like, listen, I'll go home with you right now. And she's like, no, that's not going to happen. I was like, ah. But then I cried, like, so much. And she finally felt bad, and she offered me a hand job. So, yeah. Could you guys imagine that? I mean, I've heard of being beaten on by the police, but being beaten off, that's like something else entirely. <laughs> I hate the cops. They show up in those uniforms, right? And they have the badge and the gun. Fuck that. Fuck that. Let's change the uniform so at least we can, like, look at them, right? I say the Power Rangers uniform, right? But then you still hear the same cop shit, just as the Power Rangers. Oh, uh, did, did you hear the pink Power Ranger uh, tear gas the protest and punch someone today? Yeah. I don't know. I guess if we're talking about the cops, we could all agree we would call them the white Power Rangers, right? Yeah! <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that joke, you're a fucking cop. <laughs> I feel like being undercover is a lot like being underage. You have to tell me if you are. <laughs> Am I doing well yet? Am I doing good? Yeah. Well, then why the fuck is this on the line? Um, I peed myself before the show. I was nervous. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet, you know? I had a good streak going. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. You're man. Thank you. That's how it goes. Um, I like going to Planet Fitness. That's fun. Uh, I like aliens. Oh, I like smoking weed. Uh, I would smoke weed in the crowd. Um, I love weed. Dude, you're probably driving down the road here. Dude, you are probably driving right behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells like fucking weed over there. Which is it's really close to the smell of like decaying corpses when it's really good weed, so you can't tell whether you're like really close to Alder Point or not, you know, on the way out. Yes, it was, yeah. No, it smells like bat poop. That's crazy. Did Batman know that everyone wanted his shit for weed, you know? That's why he was so into fighting crime. They kept breaking into a septic tank. That was in my uh, notes for tonight. I wanted to say that joke, too. That's actually my flagship joke I do. It's the Batman guano joke that I do. People love it. I'm on Netflix. You guys can find me on Netflix. I'm on Intervention. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I'm on a crossover episode of Intervention in my 600-pound life. Yeah, I'm the one that gets away. It's to catch a predator, too. You guys should check it out. <laughs> Um, fuck it, I love aliens, aliens are fun. Oh, weed, I love smoking weed. I forget my set because I smoke so much weed. I used to make dabs all the time back in the day. Those of you who don't know what dabs are, it's like concentrated weed. It's basically, if weed was like they described heroin in the D.A.R.E. program, you know, is dabs. And I used to make it all the time, and I have really old dabs kicking around that I smoke once in a while. I found one the other day. I was excited. I ran up the stairs to grab my bong and smoke it, but I dropped it, at which point I no longer had my old dab, but I had a brand new step dab. <laughs> Almost as cool as the original. Um, but yeah, you know, I, that was the day I had to actually, I had a flight, I had to fly out to Florida to see my grandma over Christmas, you know. There's always these salesmen out there selling hearing aids because it's a retirement community. $5,000, and they won't change, they're per pair. They'll make $5,000 a pair. They won't change the name to something besides AIDS, you know? I'm telling you, if you send a box that says AIDS on it to my front door, I'm gonna put on my seeing herpes and make sure I'm reading it right, you know? Uh, yeah, that's fun. I fly out on Christmas, it saves me money. Um, because, you know, it just if you fly on Christmas Day, they give you a half price ticket because you don't get to see your family. Who wants to see their family anyways, right? I get home. After that flight, and I got like a couple gifts sitting out, my Christmas gifts, people left them out. The first one is like a Roomba. Anyone? Anyone have a Roomba? It's like a stray puppy that you get for Christmas. You just set it loose. There it goes. That's the name of the company is Roomba. There's another vacuum company called Eureka, which I feel like there was just some board meeting, and they're like, I don't know, guys. We need to name our vacuum cleaner company. What sucks more than anything? What about Eureka, you know? Uh, Eureka's weird, man. 
Someone comes up to you and goes, that man gave me crabs. That's a good thing. You're a fisherman. You make good money, you know? <laughs> if I can set my Roomba loose, open up my next gift, someone knew me. They got me just a bunch of cocaine for Christmas, you know? And that's fucking sick. That's some cocaine. So I go running up the stairs to get my mirror, but I trip and drop it. I trip on my step dab and drop the cocaine everywhere, you know? And, uh, and the Roomba sucked it all up. It was crazy, you know? So, like, vacuuming the floor it starts vacuuming the walls and shit going straight up changing the battery in my smoke detector i call my buddy up i'm like get down here dude you got to see the cocaine rumba but he comes down at the same time that the rumba starts coming down and it's just over in the corner doing nothing and i'm like hey rumba do the thing and it's like give me more cocaine i was like holy shit you get more cocaine after you clean the house which is exactly what I used to tell my ex-girlfriend all the time. <laughs> I, uh, I love aliens, you guys. You guys like aliens? Let's get a big round of applause for aliens. Can you guys imagine right now a UFO landing out front? That would that'd be crazy, right? A whole UFO? Yeah. You know, a big ramp and a bunch of buff aliens come marching out of it. They're like, we come from Planet Fitness, you know? Take me to your Peter. He's like, I know that guy. He sucks at comedy. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful hey. evening. Woo. Oh my God. Keep it going for Peter Nelson, everybody. I love